Hi folks, welcome back. This is a quick uh, overview slash unboxing of the Banana Pi M2 Ultra. It's a development board for open source projects and IoT. You can build a NAS server or Samba server with it. And it's based on all winner quad core AR40 processor. And it supports Ubuntu Linux, Debian Linux, also Android. And it's a 64 and also a 32 bit processor. So it's really nice. This is the box. Let's, let's do a quick unboxing. I'll show you how it looks like and also show you other accessories. So let's do a quick zoom inside. Okay, here you can see the processor A40. I think that's the EMC. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think it's the EMC. Yes, that's the flash. You have uh, two chips here for the memory and additional two chips here on the back. So basically you have 2 GB of RAM in total. So that's the memory you have, 2 GB of RAM. And you have also the serial interface here, U-boot button here, so you can select if you want to boot from the micro SD card slot, socket, where the uh, system files are uh, copied on a micro SD card, or you can want, you want to load it from the EMMC storage, so you have this button here. Here you have an external display interface and this is for the camera also. It has an HDMI interface, this is the OTG here. And here you have the SATA interface, so you can connect it to an external hard drive, such as an SSD drive. And also you have the power for the SATA here, okay, here on the side also. You also have two USB interfaces here, an Ethernet LAN also, an analog audio interface jack here, an IR receiver here, located here on the side, a built-in microphone here also, this one. This is the power management chip here, this small one. And it has also a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support, also this chip here. GPIO interface here also. And also in the side you can see you have the power connector here. It uses a 5 volts, uh, 2 amps power supply unit, you need to buy it. And here you have the power and the reset buttons here on the side also. Also, you have an option to connect it to an external antenna. You have a nice socket here. So, there's, there's an option for external antenna. And switching to the back, you have an external battery interface here, backup battery. And you have two chips for the memory. Like I said, you have 2 GB of RAM in total. And that's the micro SD card slot here. You can see here from the side. So you, you have both a EMMC option and also a micro SD card option to load the operating system, the images. So pretty nice board. Let's go to the other options, other accessories you can buy for this board. First you also have an option to buy uh, it sync. You have basically two types of it syncs. One for the processor, this square one. Of course you have a ceramic type of uh, pad sticker here. So that goes to the processor. And the second type you have for the memory chip here. You have also a pad here. And you can see it's kind of longer. So that's for the memory chip, I think. So you have two types here. Basically, you can buy and other option connecting an external hard drive. You can use 
an SSD drive. You need to buy a special cable for it. Also a few dollars, not so expensive. You have one side for the power, the other for the SATA interface. So this is a basically a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. You just connect it to the board this way, here, and the power goes here. So you can basically build a server with this configuration. So pretty nice board. And it supports Ubuntu Linux, Debian Linux, and other distributions also, like I said. So I hope you enjoyed my quick overview of the Banana Pi MT Ultra. Thanks for watching and bye. This is the second part of my review. And this time I'll show you how it works under Ubuntu Mate uh, Desktop. And right now you can see my settings. I'm using an SSD drive connected to the Banana MT uh, Ultra development board. Using a case also installed inside the case. I'm using an heat sink made from aluminium. And that's basically it. I'm connected to a computer monitor without any speakers. And that's it. It's turned on. So let's switch into Ubuntu Linux that I've loaded right here. So right now we can see the desktop information you can see here and the system works really nice. The temperature of the CPU is about 47, 48 degrees Celsius. It's 48 right now and it's in a closed and the board is assembled in a closed case without any fan inside and uh, that's it you have a few apps pre-installed in this image of Ubuntu sound configuration is also enabled here you can see all the codecs installed so you have sound also uh, you can see the slider here for the volume. Also, you can see Wi-Fi network is recognized. You have a few networks here. So you can see all the LANs here. Also, Open Office, sorry, LibreOffice is pre-installed and it loads really fast. So that's for LibreOffice and also you have here a few apps here with the basic stuff, Firefox and a few apps and you can see here my SSD is recognized also. The drive I've showed you before, so I have access to my SSD drive connected with the SATA and the power uh, connection let's run Firefox you can see it loads really fast right now I'm using my wired connection, my LAN without any Wi-Fi so Everything works fine. And of course you can use this keyboard also. Really cool. Very easy to use. With a touch pad function. So you don't need any mouse also. So basically the system works really smooth, like I said. Other features I can show you.
CPU information. Right now the processor runs under a frequency of 1.2 GHz for each core. It's a quad core processor from a winner. So the frequency right now is 1.2 GHz according to the system. So You can also edit connections and configuration for the network. You can set it manually or using DHCP, but I think you need to set it. No, no special settings here, so that's for the LAN. For the wi uh, Wi Fi, also very easy to configure. So right now we, uh, the processor is uh, temperature is about 47, uh, maybe 50 uh, degrees Celsius. So that's it. Ubuntu really works smooth. You can see. So that basically it's a quick demo to show you the system works really nice. So I hope you enjoy my quick uh, review. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and bye.